1. Flow layout is very similar to relative layout, except if position is given, it is relative to the root window. 2. Fuss in float layout, you are not confined to the layout, but can have children anywhere in the window. Fuss position of 0. 0 always refers to lower left corner. 3. The Python program uses grid layout for the root widget which is defined in the KV file. 4. In the first part of the KV file, a new class is created. My button is based on the button class, but has a size of 100 pixels by 100 pixels. 5. There are two columns in the grid layout. Since we will have two children, both will take half of the space horizontally, as their size is not explicitly set. Alternatively, we can have used box layout, and obtain the same results. For the root widget, we define canvas instructions, so the first half of the window is green, and the next half is blue. Note, root size contains X and Y components corresponding to the root window. 6. Here the two childs are defined. The first is relative layout, with a button, B1, at 0, 0. This is the lower left corner of the layout as well, as the root window. The next child is float layout, and buttons B2A and B2B, are defined. The button B2A, is just next to, B1, and, B2B is just at halfway point in X direction, and 100 pixels up in the Y direction. 7. This is the result of the layout. We see that B2A and B2B are not actually inside the float layout. 8. The KV file is changed so float layout is first and relative layout is second. Since B2A and B2B Coordinates are now relative, the positions are inside the second half. 9. With this result, we can see the buttons B2A and B2B are now in the second layout. 10. You can find additional information including the source code at pythonmobile.blogspot.com.